from his playing days in the NFL with the Cincinnati Bengals, but you probably also know him from uh, the 11,000 other things that he has <laughs> been Only doing a couple. since couple his couple playing things. days. He's a busy guy. Dahani Jones. <laughs> Dahani, thanks for joining us. Um, you got a new TV show uh, kicking off. Uh, it is called Adventure Capitalists on CNBC. Talk about the show. Yeah, CNBC, 10 p.m., Adventure Capitalists, right. every Tuesday night. There you go. It's amazing. Myself, Jeremy Bloom, and Sean Johnson. And if you think about it from a perspective of investing, there's no more boardroom. It's all about the outside, yeah. the great outdoors. It's about experiencing products that you've never seen before. It's about going where the entrepreneurs are. And so uh, our cast of characters is alongside with some guest hosts. Um, you know, you have... Sean Johnson, myself, and, and then you also have Sean Neff comes on the show, and then you have Bodie Miller that comes on the show as well. You have Vernon Davis, I mean, Tony Gonzalez. We are some characters out there, and there's some amazing products, and so we get to test them. We, we become the, the test dummies, if yeah. you will. Know. Well, one thing I love about this is uh, all the star power that you have. Is there anything that surprised you about the show in terms of the products that you've tested? Oh, there's all kinds of products that are out there. One of my favorite ones is an all-wheel drive motorcycle, and I used to have a Harley Davidson when I was younger and when I was playing in Philadelphia and then I, you know, then all of a sudden you, you realize that it's not necessarily that good, good to have a, a motorcycle all the right. time, especially when you're playing. Right, you probably got right. that in your contract. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A little bit in the contract. <laughs> your coach's like, put that away, yeah, put that yeah. away. But on Adventure Capitalist, I got to try out an all-wheel drive motorcycle out in the middle of the desert. And I get on this bike, and all of a sudden, I just become a kid again. And I yeah. just take off, and I start ripping around. I see this jump, and I launch it, like, six feet up in the air. Oh, my. That was one of the most amazing experiences. And I landed it. You, land, think, you stuck I, it. I stuck it. Okay. I think it was attributed to the all-wheel drive motorcycle. And then there was some survival gear. Yeah. You know, we're out there in the frozen tundra in Canada. They take out this chainsaw, they, they cut into the ice, push the ice down, move it over, and we have the survival gear, and we're supposed to jump into the water. Think about that. No. I'm still here, so I, I survived. Okay. No hyperthermia, nothing. Wow. So the survival gear works. Definitely. Beautiful. Uh, one thing I love about you is that you're still very active here in the community in Cincinnati, and you got a big week here. Talk about yeah, it. Yeah, there's, there's huge stuff that's going on. Uh, I started my investment firm, Key Capital, and one of the things that we have going on is we have uh, demo day tonight. So the Hillman Accelerator, we're going to be talking about our, our three companies that are coming out. We have This is Cincy Startup Week, so yeah. there's a ton of things that are going on. Every Everybody, everybody from PNG is back in town. They have their events that are going on. And then also on Friday, there's Brandemonium. So you have Seth Godin that's talking, you have Jim Stengel that's talking about. But talking more about Cincinnati and the brands that have come here, but also the people that have developed brands that are from here, and then how everybody should come back and work on the brands that are going to be here for a lifetime. So it's all since the Techstar Cincy Startup Week, and there's amazing stuff that is happening. You, you've had such an exciting career post NFL. Was this the plan all along? Did you look and say, hey, you know what? I need a life after football. Here's what I want to do. Well, if you're smart and you go into the National Football League, you understand the acronym not for long. Right. So you're always thinking about what that transition is. Now, you may not be thinking about it while you're playing because you just might miss the tackle or you just might miss the interception or you may not make the play. So you not, may not play for that long. And I was fortunate enough to play for 11 years. And then in transition, I was thinking to myself, okay, what do I want to do? And I thought about Cincinnati. I saw Cincinnati in its own renaissance or renaissance, I there like to go. say. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't want to leave. I wanted to be, you know, part of the cornerstone of what's happening in Cincinnati and not necessarily take the corner office elsewhere. Right. And you're still a big part of it with the bow tie cause as well. Yeah, bow tie cause has uh, been amazing. Uh, my friend Kuta Littlejohn, who I started it for, and we've worked with over 200 different nonprofits, companies, organizations, and helping them truly tell their story. And that's what it's really all about. It's about you know, the crux of who you are and what you truly believe in. I, I learned that from Lloyd Carr at the greatest university, University of Michigan. No. And so, uh, that's, a, that's a highly debated topic here from a, from a Buckeye here. Uh, let's talk Bengals. Uh, you keep up with the team still? I came up with the team. I, I get to go to the games. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is the a, a, uh, 50th year, and there's a lot of players that are coming back each game, being able to walk on the field. So hopefully I'll be able to grace the field with my presence once so, again. So. I've seen a lot of friends. Um, and the Bengals are doing well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously within the National Football League, there's a lot of issues that are happening. Um, there's a lot of players that are unfortunately getting hurt. And, you know, with a little bit of luck, the team will make it to the playoffs. Are, are players under a, a more refined microscope these days with any little move they make is going to be scrutinized. Oh, I mean, with social media and yeah. digital in this world, you can't do anything without somebody seeing what's going on. Right, so it's probably tougher for a new guy coming it's, into the it's league. Tough for, it's tough for everybody. Yeah. All right, Dahani Jones, thank, thank you, you so much for joining us. Let's go Hooday. Yeah. Hooday.